long, long time ago. This is a story about baby Mario and Yoshi. A stork hurries across the dusky, pre-dawn sky. In his bill, he supports a pair of twins. Suddenly, a shadow appears in a gap between the clouds and races towards the stork with blinding speed. Screech! The babies are mine! Wow! Snatching only one baby, the creature vanishes. Into the darkness from whence it came. The second baby falls, undetected, towards the open sea. Oh, no! Meanwhile, here is Yoshi's Island, home to all Yoshis. It's a lovely day, and Yoshi is taking a walk. Huh? Suddenly, a baby drops in onto his back. The baby seems to be fine. This is very fortunate. Something else fell with the baby. Let's take a peek. It looks like a map. Maybe this stork was using it. But Yoshi can't figure it out. Yoshi decides to talk to his friends. Kamek, the evil Magikoopa and kidnapper of the baby, quickly dispatches his toadies. When he discovers that he missed the other baby. Yoshi heads leisurely back to the other Yoshis. unaware of the danger at hand. KMEX forces are actively searching the island. Will these two children ever reach their parents safely? Hello everybody, this is D-Mike and welcome to a brand new series of Super Nintendo Sundays. It's Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. Let's go ahead and get started. I know for a lot of people this game is something they grew up with as kids and has a lot of sentimental memories. So hopefully I can channel that for all of you. This paradise is Yoshi's Island, where all the Yoshis live. They're all in an uproar over the baby that fell from the sky. I'd be pretty in an uproar, too, if a baby just fell out of the sky, too. Especially if I didn't know what a baby was. Wait! The baby seems to know where he wants to go. The bond between the twins informs each of them where the other one is. The Yoshis decide to carry the baby to his destination via a relay system. Now begins a new adventure for the Yoshis and baby Mario. So thankfully, the Yoshis are determined to help Mario get back to his brother. And they'll all pitch in and help out the cause together. So now is the first tutorial stage. Welcome to Yoshi's Island. So the mechanics here are going to be explained throughout the video. I will go into more detail if necessary, but the game does a pretty good job of explaining everything. Now, full disclosure, this is actually my first 
legitimate run through of Yoshi's Island. I know that that might sound kind of blasphemous, but I didn't actually play this game growing up as a kid. I didn't have it. I had Super Mario All-Stars, so I had all of the games that came with that compilation, but I didn't have this one. I never played it. It recently came out on the Super Nintendo Online Store, which if you have a Switch, you can play that. So you can have at it that way if you'd like to follow along as I do. Play it that way. It's very fun. Has some of the best music. Also, this is one of the cutest games for the Super Nintendo. And also, full disclosure, if you don't think so, that this is the cutest game ever, then you can see your way out because you are very wrong. There's nothing more wronger than thinking that this game is not adorable. So here's one of the core mechanics of Yoshi's Island. Sucking up enemies and turning them into eggs, as you do. Very cash. And one of the things about this game that, for better or for worse, is... I'm not sure how I quite feel about it. There's a lot of collectibles in this game. There are those little flowers that you just saw. There's five per level, as it mentioned. There's going to be coins that you can collect, in this case, the red coins that might be most familiar for all of you with Mario 64. I believe that's where, you know, that's kind of what I think about, but they I, they, or, they originated here. And then there's going to be the third type of collectible here, the kind of little star guys. Those refill your quote-unquote HP, so that little number bubble that pops up every so often and says 14 now. That's how much HP we have, or seconds to recover baby Mario. So if Mario at any point falls off Yoshi's back because you take damage or an enemy gets to you, you'll have roughly that much time to go and get baby Mario back. So that can be kind of frustrating as well if you're not really in a great place to do it. Also, uh, check out my epic sniping skills, you're welcome. So you have to go get baby Mario back. If you don't in the time frame, then essentially you lose the level. So just keep that in mind. I believe the game will give you a maximum of about 30 seconds once this bar gets going. You can keep collecting those stars and it will increase as time goes on to give you more wiggle room to go back and catch Mario if you have him get knocked off your back. So yeah, this game is a lot of fun. It is different. It's a huge departure from Super Mario World, which in and of itself, I believe, is one of the best games of all time. A lot of people probably enjoy this game. It's not probably thought of as highly just because of how legendary Mario World is, but this game is wonderful. And I'm saying that as somebody who's only having played it into adulthood, so I don't really have that childhood nostalgia that I'm sure many of you viewers have, which is fine. I'm experiencing this with a different lens. But it's still a wonderful game. It's very charming. The graphics, you know, for the time, the art style is so different and unlike anything I've ever seen from the rest of the Super Nintendo era. And here's my first Mario departure. You can throw eggs, you can use your tongue, you can jump at them. And it's not quite seconds. Like, obviously, you saw that. That was ticking down pretty quickly. But yeah, that's the, the first goal. There are five of those stars that you can collect per level, and if you collect all five, it obviously increases the odds of you getting a bonus stage. So, here you go. So there's 30 stars, 20 coins, and five flowers per level for a maximum of 100 points. I got 77 points, that's good enough for government work. I'll be completely honest with you guys. Playing through this game is a lot of fun, but I don't intend to be a completionist about it like I do with my main series. It would just take too long to do. And I know that the thought process of if I'm not completing these levels, then I'll be missing out on some bonus stuff. But don't worry, I'll be including everything through the magic of editing. So here's our first of the kind of minigame bonuses that you get after completing a level and landing on a flower in the final roulette. The amount of baby Marios you get with your three scratches will tell you how many lives you get. So we got two there, pretty good. And we're gonna have Green Yoshi hand off Baby Mario to Red Yoshi and continue on to level two. I was hoping to get through roughly four or so levels per video, but then I also thought that that might be a little overkill because these levels are actually surprisingly kind of long compared to Super Mario World, the first one. So I'm trying to pace this video out appropriately 
I'm still trying to stay true to kind of my Super Nintendo Sunday's mantra. That was also pretty slick. You're welcome for that. My Super Nintendo Sunday's mantra of keeping these videos kind of short, you know, 10 to 15 minutes, just kind of little bite-sized chunks to brighten up your Sunday and give you something fun to watch. Once again, these games are all very short. You know, you're going to be getting anywhere between 5 to 10 episodes per series, so there's no real need for me to rush and try to do a whole ton. This isn't like a Super Mario Galaxy or a Pikmin, which is a AAA title that, you know, for all intents and purposes, might have 30 to 40 hours of content. I think this game in total is like maybe 10 hours if you're, you know, really trying to get everything, which I won't be. So I know some of you might be screaming into your computer screens and being very uh, upset that I'm not collecting all the coins and flowers and stars, etc. I won't be, so just to give you a heads up. And that's more just because this game in and of itself is just meant to be relaxing for me and hopefully for you to watch it, unless that makes you upset and then I apologize. But yeah, this is just supposed to be kind of a fun little jaunt through Yoshi's Island. And it's my first time around anyway, so I don't really know where everything is. Did a little bit of pre-playing of the you know, kind of the first world just to give myself an idea of what to expect. But, you know, as indecisive as I am there, that's kind of how I'm going to be throughout this series, because I don't know where stuff is. This is my first time really playing it. So just imagine what your first experience was like as a kid, and then just pretend that I am that you, that version of you, you know, very childlike in my sense of humor and my inability to figure out children's games. So, yeah. Just imagine that. Now, one of the cool things that Yoshi's Island does, which I didn't know was a thing until I started playing this game, is that there's various kind of vehicular anthropomorphized versions of Yoshi that you get to be in this game. In this case, the first one is a helicopter. I have no idea why they thought that this would have made sense in the canon of Mario, but I think it's amazing and I love Yoshi's big goofy nose in helicopter form. So that's super fun. They do a lot of things right with this game. They took a lot of kind of liberties and some pivots with this series in particular. But, you know, once again, it's so charming and endearing and has some of the best music on the Super Nintendo. I find myself humming the music from this game for hours after I'm done recording. It's so much fun and hopefully you guys all can feel that same way. My exposure to Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island it's very limited, but the music for me was important because it came from Tetris Attack. That's how I got to know it. So no uh, no bonus this time, that's okay. And once again, not gonna collect everything. I'm gonna do my best to kind of show you just the levels in their entirety. But yeah, that's the first two levels and we've got plenty more to go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed yourselves. Thanks for following along for the first episode of Yoshi's Island. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island, Super Nintendo Sundays. I'll see you next time. Bye.